So you wanna undervolt your 13th gen CPU, especially the i7-13700HX, to lower the temperature of your laptop that's probably overheating and possibly increase the performance of your PC in gaming and productivity doing so well, this is the right video for you. And no, this is not one of these videos in which you just see the settings and then you try on your PC and they're locked because they actually know what I'm doing. So. I say after the first brief introduction, we get started. Now, little disclaimer, this tutorial will work for every HX CPU. If you have an H CPU, like for example, the 13700H, it will still work, but you, you will have to tweak it a little bit. But no worries, I got you guys covered as well. Second little disclaimer, Intel on laptops, they've been doing the same CPU over and over. So this, the i7-13700HX is actually the same as the i9-12900HX and the i9-12850HX. So this will work for these CPUs as well. And guess what? The 14th gen is not yet out as I'm speaking, but I know for a fact, because I've seen desktop chips and the process node, that this tutorial will work on 14th gen as well. So now we will need a single piece of software and that is throttle stop and today we are using as test subject the Medion Defender Eraser P40. Now guys, if you want to increase your performance, another thing you should do is undervolt your GPU and I have a full tutorial for that one as well over here. So go check that one out after this video and please, if this ends up working, drop a like and a sub, okay? Let's get tuning. So you will need to download and open an application called Throttle Stop. I will leave the link down below for you guys. Now, once you're here, you might be thinking, hey, is this the usual Throttle Stop tutorial that everybody's doing? No, no worries. This is the right video for you. Let's start from the beginning. Basic undervolting basics. Okay, so how this works is you just go on FYVR and you put an offset here, but the options are grayed out, okay? So this might be the case on your PC as well. First, we will cover how to unlock these options in every way possible, okay? At the end of this tutorial, you will unlock these options, okay? And then we will cover in case you don't have an HX CPU or in case you don't wanna go the length it takes to unlock those things, how you can still get a performance increase without actually doing these. Step one, what might be locking these is something called core isolation. It's an option in Windows. You wanna go in the search bar, type core isolation, now, unfortunately, my Windows is in Italian, but still you click it and you will need to uncheck this. So this has to do like this. Now, if this doesn't work, meaning if this is disabled and you still cannot do this, you might have to disable it in a different way. And you can do it by going in Windows functionalities, okay? So, Windows features, it's called. You go into here and now by scrolling these, you need to disable the Hyper-V option, okay? You need to disable the Microsoft Defender application guard, and you also need to disable platform Windows hypervisor, okay? Now listen, this is actually gonna increase the performance of your system as well. So you should just do this, you know? Even, even if you're not gonna undervolt, just do this, okay? Um, in case it went out of focus, again, hypervisor, Hyper-V, Microsoft Defender application guard, just disable them all, okay? And now do those things, reboot your PC, close throttle stop, delete the configuration file, open it again, and hopefully your settings won't be grayed out again, okay? Just go on FYVR and they should be unlocked. Now I will tell you what to do if they are unlocked. You go into here, you click on unlock adjustable voltage right here, you select adaptive, you select 125 millivolt, and you put this offset all the way to 125. You hit apply, you hit okay, you hit okay, save voltages immediately, and you're done. And now, listen, if your games crash, you dial this back to 100. Instead of minus 125, you go back to minus 100, okay? However, in some PCs like mine, this might still be locked. And you might be wondering, hey, why? You promised us you would unlock it, right? So how do we unlock it if it is still unlocked? Well, we need to do a BIOS unlock. So this is pretty annoying. And I will tell you guys, I don't recommend this to most people. I actually recommend we go around it in a different way. But how this works is you basically 
First of all, check if there is an updated BIOS, because sometimes with the new BIOS, they just unlock the feature. I know on HP Omen laptops with the latest BIOSes, you can just unlock it. So check if you can unlock it by updating the BIOS. You just go on the website of the laptop, download the BIOS, update it, see if it works. If not, you need to do a BIOS mod. This tutorial is too short to cover a BIOS mod to unlock undervolting in depth. Now, there are videos on YouTube on how to do it, honestly. None of those videos are um, the best, let's just say. So if you want, I can make a video for you guys, but it would be extremely tricky and it would require what's called a blind flash with a USB. So in case you do it wrong, you will break your laptop. Uh, so you would actually need a programmer to be safe. But hey, I can do it for you guys. If you let me know if the video does well, uh, if we get enough likes on a comment that says, hey, do the BIOS mod, I can do it. I have plenty of BIOSes mod on the channel. In case you wanna take a look at the process, you can go check out this video over here. It's a video in which I unlock a Z170 motherboard to support an i9-9900K. Those are the basics of BIOS modding. So we need to do something like that, but just to unlock the hidden option. So yes, let me know. Anyways, what I actually recommend you do is pretty simple. You just click here and hit save. So if you do this, you are disabling your turbo. I would also disable C1E, by the way. What this does is uh, your CPU will just run at base clock. Now, you're probably wondering, hey, but won't this dramatically worsen my performance? Actually not. Why? Because the main limiter in laptops is thermals. So they usually share the same cooling system between CPU and GPU. So if you disable the turbo, you actually gain wattage headroom and you gain temperature headroom on your GPU. So in selected cases, doing this will actually increase the performance on your laptop in game. So you have to try it out, but still do undervolt your GPU as well. You can also play around with those a bit, for example, by setting a certain multiplier or enabling the speed shift and just maxing out the number here. Uh, this you know, would allow it to boost higher. You can also do this, uh, but personally, I would just leave this disabled and just use the disabling turbo option, and that should work flawlessly for you guys. So hopefully you will be able to unlock it and you won't come to this point, but worst case, just disable the turbo, you'll be fine. So this is it for today, guys. I have many more tutorials on the channel for Ryzen laptops, for GPUs, again, undervolt your GPU. And I also have the review of this laptop in case you're interested. So yes. Drop a like and a sub and see you in the next one, guys. Bye.